The next steps in our setup process is that we need to create a couple of configuration files. So when the flashing process is done, typically your SD card is ejected. So you'll want to, of course, take it out of your slot, your SD card slot, and reinsert it. And you should see your SD card showing back up. And the name of the volume should probably be boot. Typically that's what's seen. So you wanna click on it. And here you'll see the files. So this would be all the files that were flashed onto the SD card. So at this root level, we want to create a couple of files, first of all. And let's get that going. And the first one is just called SSH. No extension, just a blank file that's called SSH. So on a Windows machine, you can right click and do a new file and call it SSH. On the Mac, you can do it from the terminal. You can type in touch SSH once you navigate to the directory or the main volume folder where the SD card is located. Or alternatively, you can open a text editor. And I'm just gonna save the file here. And here we are at the boot volume and I'm just gonna call it SSH, no extension, and just uncheck this box. If no extension is provided, use .text. Of course, this is on a Mac, and you wanna click Save. And once that's done, let's just verify that SSH is created. So here it is, and it's just a blank file that's called SSH. So that's the first file. The next one, is a file called wpa underscore supplicant dot conf. And this is where we will configure the wireless settings to connect to our wireless network. So to make things easier, I have provided a link and there is a wpa underscore supplicant dot conf file in GitHub. And I'll provide that to you as a resource for the video and to make things easier, you can just simply copy this snippet and we can create a new file. And here I'm going to do file new and let's paste that in. So there are a couple of things that we need to change in here. So the first one is the country code. This is the two letter ISO country code and I've also provided a link here where you can get the country codes. And here, I'm just gonna scroll to the top, you can select the first letter of your country. I'm just gonna select U here for United States. And if you scroll down, we can see it's US, that's a country code. So depending on which part of the world you hail from and you're doing this course with me, just go ahead and select your country and you can get the appropriate two letter country code. So once you got that, let's head back over to our text file and let's type in our country code. So here I'm going to put in US and next up we want to enter the SSID and the password for your wireless network. So this is the SSID and the password that your Pi, that is rephrase, so this is the SSID and password that you need for your Pi to connect to your wireless network. This could be a hotspot on your phone if you're just setting it up and you're not close to a Wi-Fi connection, or it could be the Wi-Fi connection on your home router. So once you have a wireless network, let's go ahead and enter the SSID and password. I'm gonna enter my SSID and password here. and the password. And once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and save this file. And we're going to call it WPA underscore supplicant, S-U-P-P-L-I-C-A-N-T dot conf, C-O-N-F, short for configuration. So again, we're gonna uncheck the .text extension and we're gonna click on save. So that saves the Wi-Fi configuration file to our SD card and once that's done, let's proceed to eject our SD card 
and we will insert it into our Raspberry Pi, insert our power adapter, and we're going to boot up our Pi.